my previous video we have shared with you what is a pie chart like it's a circle graph now you see that in a circle the central angle is 360 degrees and in a pie chart the 360 degrees corresponds to the total of the values represented in the chart for example 360 degree might correspond to a class of 50 students studying in a school and on the other hand the distribution might be in terms of percentages which sums up to 100 percent so 50 students can correspond to 100 percent and this is the how it is uh, represented by splitting the 360 degrees of a central angle of the circle now you see in my previous class uh, i shared with you these three different pie charts and uh, in this first one where the information is represented in percentages in the it is making the 100 percent you see 10 percent plus 30 percent plus 20 percent plus 13 percent plus 27 percent it is adding up to 100 percent now in the second example if you see the there are 24 hours in a day and the hundred percent of the time of the day is split into the information eight hours plus six hours plus three hours plus four hours plus three hours which is giving 24 hours now we are going to understand how we uh, get the sector angle if we are provided with information like uh, something in quantity of in terms of the uh, percentages or uh, sometimes in terms of the values so let us take this example in a survey conducted on favorite fruit with 400 people so now this example we have already discussed that 10 percent of them they said they like peach 30 percent they said they like banana then uh, 20 percent they said they like pineapple 13 percent they like orange and 27 percent they like grapes now how we get these uh, sector angles let us understand that uh, you see here in case of peach uh, percentage is 10 percent so we need to find this sector angle so this would be uh, 10 percent of the 360 degrees so 10 percent of 360 degrees we get uh, 10 upon 100 into 360 that is uh, 36 degrees so we get this angle as uh, 36 degrees right now uh, calculate for uh, the portion of uh, banana so banana is representing 30 percent so 30 percent meaning 30 percent of 100 and uh, this uh, 360 we get uh, this uh, sector angle as 108 degrees okay now find for pineapple so pineapple is representing uh, 20 percent so 20 percent of uh, this uh, 360 degrees would be 20 upon 100 into 360 it gives us 72 degrees so that means uh, this sector angle here is 72 degrees right so now you tell me what will be in case of orange orange is representing uh, this 13 percent so 13 percent people they like oranges so for orange what will be the uh, sector angle it will be 13 upon 100 into 360 degrees and that gives us uh, 46.8 degrees so that means uh, uh, this uh, sector angle is uh, 46.8 degrees okay tell me now about grapes so grapes is representing 27 percent so 27 percent of uh, 360 degrees would be now you calculate and tell me 27 upon 100 into uh, 360 so it gives us 98 97.2 uh, uh, degrees right so 97.2 degrees is the sector angle for uh, the grapes i hope uh, you have understood like how we get these uh, sector angles when we are given the uh, items and the quantities in terms of the percentages right so we try to see how much part of uh, this 360 degree that is the central angle 
it is representing so this is how we make the so 